Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright guys, I just need to say, I was honest when I had said I had lost interest in speedrunning, but this whole clusterfuck has really rekindled my flame. I had so many people reach out to me to offer support, a lot of them wanting to work with me on future projects. One of these people is Nacho Mama 13 who made this brilliant video after talking with me which really breaks everything down. Just a quick summary of what happened, most of my videos on this channel were highlight videos from various streams. Someone in one of my videos named Bouncy Boy filed a DMCA claim against me and then encouraged other runners to do so as well. Thankfully, his biggest weakness is containing himself, so he announced it to the world and I was able to delete the videos before anything happened. By the way, I will be directing the ad revenue from this video to Nacho and you guys should all go sub to him in case he decides to do something else. So with all that in mind, here's his take. A popular Super Mario Sunshine runner named Bouncy Boy has proven oh, himself to be a hypocrite, yet he is still being held up amongst members of the community. I think it's mostly because people don't actually understand what he did and what copyright law does for speedrunning content, but it's pretty possible that even Bouncy Boy himself doesn't understand why he's being a hypocrite. To start off, I'll recount what actually happened. There's a guy who started a YouTube channel called Apollo Legends. Then he started uploading content. Among this content, there were several videos that were speedrun highlight videos. There were other videos uploaded, but they're not the videos in question. Several months go by while the Apollo Legends YouTube channel grows into something of a reasonable size, and then a few weeks ago I noticed Bouncy Boy tweeting about the channel and voicing his opinion on the channel. A few more days go by and Bouncy Boy starts tweeting about how he's filing a DMCA claim and he encourages other runners featured in the videos to do the same. Bouncy Boy reveals his reasoning for doing so in a pacement that he tweeted out later. The pacement actually raises even more questions if you actually take the time to read it. He starts off by saying, In my opinion, GR Smash and similar content is good for the community. I don't have a problem with making content out of other content as long as it's transformative in nature, just as copyright law says. So he's okay with highlight videos, but only if they're transformative in nature. One look at the GR Smash YouTube channel demonstrates that this content is no more transformative than any other highlight channel. So if the GR Smash videos are okay, where do you draw the line? The answer is you can't. If one highlight video this guy's is voice is fucking annoying, by the way, holy shit. between them is ludicrous. He goes on to say, The issue with Apollo Legend was that his Sunshine highlight reel was him literally going to 10 to 12 different Sunshine speedrun streams, clicking on Highlights tab, downloading a few from each channel, then putting them into one video and monetizing it on YouTube. This point is really nothing more than reductionism. He's really just letting us know that he has a problem with the Sunshine Highlight Reel because it was too easy to make compared to content like GR Smash. Even though GR Smash content is just an accumulation of tournament clips and stream clips, and he already said he was okay with that, so what's the difference? His motivations become even more clear in the next paragraph. I've never seen him in the Sunshine stream or the Discord. He never asked for permission or clips. He just stole the content of a number of runners to make money. He then continued to call himself the voice of the community and tout himself as the only person who's willing to do the honorable task of being a content creator for our community. All while bashing me publicly on Twitter and creating a series of 10 videos called Super Salty Speedrunners and others, putting the community in a negative light. Here is where Bouncy Boy's real motivations come from. See, Bouncy Boy is voicing all his personal gripes with the owner of the channel rather than explaining what's wrong with the video he filed a DMCA on. The only thing we have in this regard is the he never asked for permission point. Before we tackle the permission angle, let me elaborate on the voice of the community comment. I don't think that Bouncy Boy's description is very fair, but I'm not concerned with whether or not people like Apollo Legends or his content, but I actually see where Bouncy Boy is coming from. Apollo often speaks even in casual conversation with a very far-sighted mindset, but after talking with him, it's very obvious that these sentiments are sincere, and he actually cares about the growth of the speedrunning community. You can judge him how you like and choose to hate him or whatever, it's not my business whether you like the guy or not, I just thought you should see more than one opinion. So back to the point about permission. Basketball and the NBA have gone through this kind of controversy already. Several NBA highlight channels have been prominent, one has even been around since 2008. These highlight channels blatantly reuse material from sports analysts and network aired games. The difference here is that it seems some influential analysts and networks It's not even halfway over, what the, the fuck is this? Involved. Nate Silver, the founder of 358, had this to say on the topic. We're incredibly protective of our live game rights. Fucking 358, dude. For the most dude, part, highlights are marketing. Though, from the looks of this article, the NFL is a little less liberal in their views. But why am I bringing up the NBA in the first place? Well, the NBA is a good example of how people think copyright law works. 
See, no one owns basketball. Speedrunning is different. Let's take the sunshine highlight reel into consideration. Your first impression might lead you to believe that the clips in the video are the legal property of the runners that made them. Well, they're not. That's entirely wrong. The actual owner of the content is Nintendo. I found this article that documented the 2013 EVO Smash nonsense, where Nintendo effectively tried to prevent Smash from even happening at EVO by wielding their hefty legal dongs about with a copyright infringement claim. Uh, luckily, Nintendo dropped the claim and let the event happen, but according to this article, a video game under copyright law is an audiovisual work, which gives a public performance right to the copyright holder. That means that anyone that plays a Nintendo game on a Twitch stream has no legal claim to the video content. Your voice and a face cam in the corner do not negate the fact that your stream is considered a public performance of a copyrighted material. Well, what does this mean for highlight videos? To put it plainly, it means the creator of a highlight video does not need to credit you or ask for your permission if they want to use your content in their video. That's right, under copyright law, repurposing clips of any kind of a Nintendo game requires no permission from any streamer or YouTuber. In the article I mentioned earlier, there's a really nice explanation of why the but it's my content, I'm just using Nintendo's game argument doesn't really work from a legal standpoint. The tournament organizers are primarily selling access to the particular match of the game being created by the competitors and the live commentary on that match from the shoutcasters. This is the work the spectators are paying to see, more than the underlying game elements behind it. Legally though, this distinction is moot. The law treats a performance of Smash Bros the same way it would treat the performance of a written play or a piece of sheet music, that is, as something that can be controlled by the original copyright owner. This is true even though the game is much more improvisational and competitive than simply reciting a script. Improvisational theater is much harder to protect with copyright. Even though the same exact game would not be considered a performance if it were not on a video screen. Well. Now we've proven that permission isn't legally required, what about the argument that permission to use clips is a healthy good faith gesture and should be respected? Well, it's a laughably noble ideal, but if we take the Ocarina of Time community as an example, if I wanted to make a highlight video that showcases the old Ocarina of Time speedrunners, but wanted to use clips from people like Pido and Poodle Skirt that had very notable impacts on the game and the community, Simply contacting them would be a daunting task. Even trying to contact someone as influential as Kazooie could take several weeks or months for them to resurface. So asking everyone for permission every time you want to use content that is technically Nintendo's anyway is just not logistically reasonable for a growing community like speedrunning. The next point he makes is just an echo of what he already said. With just the video, I probably would have done nothing, oh my God. but the combination of the video being quite literally stealing in my opinion and the rest of the stuff, it was reasonable to DMCA claim it. And his final point, DMCA claims aren't just there for big companies to steal YouTube revenue. They're also there to protect the content of smaller content creators. They just have a negative connotation because they're used in an unfair way a large portion of the time. The final point is really just a wrap up so I won't nitpick it, but now that we covered how copyright law actually works, and read Bouncy Boy's pastebin, let's talk about whether or not Bouncy Boy was justified in filing the DMCA. To put it bluntly, no. Bouncy Boy had no legal grounds for filing the DMCA, but I think it's fair to assume he just didn't know how copyright law actually worked in regards to Nintendo games. And if that's where the story ends, I wouldn't be making this video. But back to the DMCA. The reason he can file the DMCA is thanks to YouTube's copyright claim system. See, the way YouTube handles copyright conflicts is by assuming guilt before they ever look into it. It's really fucked up and I encourage you to research how the system works for yourself, but it's far too time consuming to thoroughly investigate in this video. The short answer is that Bouncy Boy will probably not feel any repercussion for filing the DMCA, even though the grounds for it were ill-founded at best. Like I said, if that's where the story ended, I wouldn't be making this video. I would just be complaining about it on Twitter, like I have been for the past few days. But then Bouncy Boy tweeted about his new video. This video is what really brings Bouncy Boy's hypocrisy to light. After filing a DMCA takedown against a highlight video, he uploads a highlight video. But this highlight video is praised. The difference? Are you a real villain? It's just a lowbrow lazy town meme mixed in with the clips, and the clever moral distinction of permission comes back into play. Since I've already explained why permission does not matter at all in regards to stream to Nintendo games, I will just defer you to earlier in the video. Lastly, he makes the distinction that his video is not monetized. 
For some reason, there seems to be a moral holdup in regards to making money. I encourage Bouncy Boy to monetize his shitty Lazy Town meme highlight video, just like I encourage all speedrunners to monetize any video they make. Frankly, even if you upload this video to your own channel and monetize it, unedited, I wouldn't give a shit, because I have the scope to know that it just means more people will see my content. In fact, do it, and monetize it. I wish you the best of luck in making money off some piece of shit I made. Because if you try too hard to hold on to the content you create, you only stand to hurt yourself and prevent your audience from growing. Uh, what kind of video was that, dude? I, I literally, I, like, I have no idea what I just watched. Like, what was the relevancy of any of that? First of all, this guy's voice is fucking annoying. It's done like this the whole time. Hey, guys. And I was just coming out of another video about, you know, I was just doing a time about the video. But, you know, it's just that. Uh, like, what the fuck, dude? I'm looking at the comments right now. I really don't know what any of this means. Like, half of the shit he said was either irrelevant or just downright stupid. Um, yeah, I, I, what's my opinion on the whole situation? Bouncy Boy is a dumbass. Uh, he's an absolute retard. Apollo Legends channel is fucking horrendous. And that's, like, wh the, the, I don't get it. Like, what else is there? I don't know. Like, should I upload this just for the meme? You guys think I should upload this for the meme? But yeah, uh... I, I just don't understand. Like, none of this is relevant or has anything to do with anything. I mean, I guess the title of the video, Bouncy Boy is a Hypocrite, like, it's just character assassination to begin with. Maybe that's it? I don't know. Because all that seemed to me was just character assassination. Well, oh, let's expose Bouncy Boy. I mean, Bouncy Boy, like, I, I don't really know him too well, but yeah, he's pretty dumb. And again, his whole channel is based around character assassination and, like, making memes out of people that, you know, like don't really need, you know, to have memes based on them, so. Would I say I'm better than them? I would say I'm probably a better person than Apollo Legend, uh, Nacho Mama 13, and, uh, and, uh, Bouncy Boy combined. One, I actually speedrun. Two, I understand that money isn't a bad thing. Three, I'm not an idiot when it comes to copyright law. Four, there is no four, but I just want to have a four anyway. Like, I mean, I like, like both of them have very valid, I guess, points of view. Like, Bouncy Boy is dumb because he's one of those people that thinks that speed running should be pure, and that he's like, you know, some like. Like he's like, like I am a, a I am the Messiah of speedrunning. Speedrunning should not be monetized. It should not sell out. Nobody should look at speedrunning except for speedrunners. Like he's that kind of person, i.e., dumb. And then on the other side of the coin, you have these two faggots who are like, they just don't understand that he's dumb. And instead of just making a video like like I just said, like just make a video saying like, oh yeah, he's dumb because of the X. Like, they try to use all these legal, like, freaking loophole arguments that are... Like, this this video is entirely focused around Nintendo. Like, yeah, not every speedrunner fucking speedruns a Nintendo game. I can go to this guy's channel, Apollo Legend, or... Well, his videos are gone now, but... I could have gone to his channel and found videos of games that had... You know, that weren't Nintendo. Like... Like... Like, w like why does bringing up Nintendo's fucking bullshit, like quote-unquote copyright uh, law, whatever the fuck. How is that relevant to speedrunning? Like, not every speedrun is done of a Nintendo game. <laughs> I just don't understand. Like, that, that's, that makes no fucking sense at all. 
And, uh, yeah, if this guy wants me to upload his video, like, I pretty much just watch the entire video on stream. If, it's, if, he, if he wants me to upload it and make money off of it, then, yeah, I'll do that. In fact, uh, I should just go to his channel and just download all of his videos and re-upload them, because that'd be pretty based. Yeah, I don't know. Speedrunners are dumb. Uh, like, really dumb. Like, speedrunners are... I mean, streamers, I guess I should say. Streamers are dumb. And then speedrunners who are streamers are, by proxy, dumb. And speedrunners are also dumb. So, if you're a speedrunner and a streamer, and you're not me, because I'm, I'm a beast, then you're probably double dumb. That, that's how I'm gonna end this. Bouncy Boy is double dumb, and Apollo Legend and Nacho Mama 13 are, are just regular dumb. The end. <laughs>